So uh, tell us about your new single, it was just released today, is that right? Yep, just went online this morning at 8am and uh, it's called Harder to Tame. And uh, they tell me it's sitting at about number three, I think, on the iTunes country chart, which is great. It went in at about uh, 43, so it's been climbing steadily all day. We've only got Keith Urban and uh, uh, Taylor Swift in front of us, so we're going to try and knock them off the perch if we can. But no, it's going really well. It's, um, it's been a long time since we've uh, released um, a single off a new album, so we can't wait to get our teeth into it. Um, you know, the band are all really pumped to play the song, so. Will you be playing that song tonight? We will. It's the first time it's played live, so we, we had a big rehearsal last week to, to make sure we knew how the song went, and um, it sounds great. So um, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a hoot. Oh, great. So um, what do you love most about Mustard? Oh, the Muster. Man, I've been coming here for 10 years. Um, you know, Troy's been doing about the same, I'd say. Uh, it's the people, you know, it's the fans, they're like, they're like no other fans, um, you know, whether it's raining or whether it's freezing or, or whatever, they're always down the front and having a great time and, you know, partying with us. It's, uh, it's become a real institution, the muster, and it's been going 40 plus years now, so it's a real, real pleasure to, to get to play at it. Oh, great. So were you recently in Nashville? Mm-hmm, yeah, we spent uh, a month in Nashville recording the album and uh, we recorded it with uh, a friend of ours, a uh, fantastic producer, Jeremy Stover. And uh, we've recorded uh, what I think anyway, I think Troy agrees, is um, uh, our finest album so far. Uh, it's big, it's epic, it's what we wanted it to be, a very progressive album. So um, so that's what we've done and uh, again, I just can't wait to take it out on the road and, and introduce it to, um, to our fans. Oh, great. So, how's it different from previous albums? Uh, sonically bigger, much bigger. Um, you know, we, we've never recorded in America before, so the one thing we always wanted to do was record an album in Nashville with, with uh, you know, an American producer and uh, with a really big uh, sonic sound. Uh, lots of guitars. Uh, there's not one fiddle on this album, I don't think. It's all, all guitar driven. So, that's the album that we wanted to make, and, and um, with Jeremy's help, uh, we did that. So it's just bigger. It's probably um, more in line with where our show is heading. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fun on stage and I think now there's about 15 of us on stage at one point. So it's getting progressively bigger. Um, so I guess it kind of reflects where we're going with our live show. Oh, great. So who would you like to collaborate with that you haven't had a chance to? Oh man, as a songwriter, uh, there's so many guys in Nashville. Yeah. I mean, we, we've been very fortunate to, to um, Troy and I to be able to write with some fantastic songwriters in Nashville. Um, you, know, uh, as, you know, as far as doing a song goes, uh, it'd be great to, to do something with Jack Ingram or someone like that. Uh, well, that actually nearly came off uh, when we were in Nashville. We, we couldn't quite get there. We were going to do a song with Jack, but uh, there's many, many people. Uh, we've had the pleasure to do stuff in the past with Adam Brand. Uh, we've had a song uh, which we did, did a duet with on the first album. Adam Brand actually is the guy that, that got us signed to ABC. He's the guy that got us our deal. So we love Brand. He's a good man. But um, yeah, who knows in the future uh, what opportunities might come up uh, with collaboration with other people. Uh, we're always open to it. So we'll see.